Okay, in this video I'm just going to go through how to format a pie chart. Um, the first thing I wanted to go over was the colour really, because you guys will not be able to print in colour. So you need to make sure that you can see that the segments of your pie chart are clearly distinguishable or easily distinguishable. Um, so if you click on the chart in the design tab, you've got these predefined shades. Um, so obviously this is grayscale. So you can have a look at that and see if you're happy with it. Obviously, if you print the chart and you're still not happy with the shades and you don't think they're distinguishable enough, you can change them. So if you just double click, if you click once, it will select all of the segments and you can change those all at once. If you then click again on a particular segment, it will then allow you to select only that segment. And then in format, you can change the shape fill of that. So you can change the shade. I would keep it as a, a grayscale shade, so a shade of black or grey because obviously like I've already said you can only print in black and white. You can also use gradients as well um, so you want to bear in mind if you're going to use gradient so you would go here to gradient fill you need to use so that in the stops here you want to change each stop to a grey scale shade so these are like shades of blue at the moment I think which is not really going to be suitable for you um, so if I just do that and then if I have a look, so that's, it's put that gradient in there. So it does make it slightly different. So you're really trying to make sure that each segment looks different. The other thing you can do is put outlines around each segment. So if you go to shape outline and then we choose a color. Okay. So I've put a black outline in there. It's probably a good idea to do this for the whole chart. So if I just click off a bit and select the whole chart and then put the outline in, that will automatically make uh, the segments a little bit more distinguishable there um, but if you want to make distinguishable like each section more distinguishable by having different kinds of lines you can try that um, as long as you have to make a decision um, and the main thing is that your segments stand out and they all look different that's the key thing you don't want the examiner to have the excuse that your um your pie chart didn't stand out. So here we've got the weight, so you can change the thickness of the line, and um, obviously that's way too much. And if you go to dashes, you can then choose a different style for each segment, which uh, you could try uh, just to make it stand out a bit more. Uh, but I think the main thing is the colors or maybe using gradient, but I think the outline, just a simple outline is a good idea to separate the sections of your pie. Okay, so, when you've done that, the other thing that you're going to need to do is you might need to show particular values on your pie chart. So if you go into layout, you've got various options in here, same as you do for your bar chart. So you've got chart title, so if the title isn't there, the legend's not there, so you've got your chart. Automatically when you create this chart, it depends on the data in the first place. Sometimes it will add the legend, sometimes not. Um, and the chart title. So if any of those are uh, not there for any reason, just go to layout, click on the chart and then go to layout and then chart title. You can choose where you want the title to go and then type an appropriate title in there. Sometimes you're not told what to put as the title, you have to come up with something suitable and you get a mark for coming up with a suitable name. So you must bear that in mind. And then, of course, you've got the legends here as well. And you've got the option to put the legends in different places. So it could go at the bottom here. It could go at the top. It could go on the side. So you need to read the question carefully and see exactly where you've been asked to put your legend. Normally, it's over here on the right-hand side. The other thing is data labels. Um, same as in the bar chart, um, you can put your labels like this. Obviously, that's not really suitable. So I'm just going to turn that off and I'm going to show you another option for showing your percentages. So in design, if you go to layouts here, click on this little triangle with the line above, and then you've got some various pie chart layouts. Now, if you're asked to show percentages and values, um, without a legend and a chart title. If you look at this carefully, you can see it has all of those features. So if I click on it, then you will automatically have that formatting added to your chart. Okay. Um, and then you could obviously go ahead and add a, an additional legend if necessary. Um, this one is um, showing me the actual name of the job and then the percentage as a value. 
rather than showing it as a, a percentage as such. Um, and so you can just have a look through the various layouts there and you need to choose one according to the question. Obviously, as always, read the questions carefully just to make sure um, that you've not missed anything out. The other thing you might be asked to do is to take out a segment of your chart and separate it from the rest of the chart. You probably saw me do that briefly just a minute ago. So you might be asked to pull out the segment that's the largest in the, uh, in the pie chart. So you just click, double click on that segment and then make sure it's only that one selected and then you can just drag it out a little bit yeah, to separate it from the rest of the chart. So that's how you would do that. That's pretty much it for formatting uh, pie charts really. Um, the other thing you might have to do is move your chart onto another sheet or it is useful to do actually if you're trying to work maybe you might have more than one chart to do or it might, you might have formulas that you're trying to use and have it and have created a chart and not want to delete it so if you right click on the chart and go to move chart and then you go to new sheet okay that will then go onto this sheet here okay so if i press okay okay so now my chart is on another sheet so i've still got my spreadsheet on this sheet and then on chart one sheet, I've got my chart and I can print this directly from here and it'll print as a full page. Obviously, you, you do what you need to do according to the question. But if you want to keep that chart available um, and you don't want to delete it, then maybe moving it is a good option. So that's how you do that. You can also move it from here. I normally just right click and move chart. But I think you can do it there as well. Um, so that's it for formatted uh, pie chart.